Hello and welcome to the Camp Hike Roam channel. We are here in the high deserts of Arizona enjoying a weekend of camping in my lovely 2005 Fleetwood Sea Pine. I want to go over today how I regulate the temperature inside so I don't get boiling hot in the summer desert or how I don't freeze myself <laughs> in the upper elevations. So let's go explore this and see what my options are. My options for keeping the trailer warm or cool actually start at home before I even leave for camp. I'll check the weather at the destinations I want to go to and see what it's going to be. Uh, and my first rule is if it's going to be too hot or too cold or too miserable, too rainy, too windy, I don't even go camping because yeah, it, it won't be a good time and camping is for having a good time. So once I determine what the weather is going to be, and how warm or cool it's going to be, I then got to determine where I'm going to go. The beauty of living in Arizona is I have a wide range of elevations I can go to. Lower elevation is warmer, higher elevation is cooler, so I can go anywhere in between to get the perfect temperature. I try to go for 70s, mid 70s to, uh, to keep things nice and pleasant. Here we are inside of the trailer, and the first subject we're going to talk about is how I keep the trailer cool on a warm day. Uh, right now, it's not so bad. It's in the 70s. I had all the windows closed. But uh, just about every panel here will unzip and open up, so you can get cross breezes galore inside of here. I've opened up the back windows. You can see my truck out there. Um, so all of the windows, uh, the panels in the sleeping area, all unzip and open up. So if it's warm outside at night, you get a nice breeze and it's good sleeping. Same thing on the other side. There's another bunk on the other side. Those all unzip. These windows here on this side and on this side also open up. There's a panel here on the door that also opens up. So the thing becomes basically a screen house. Uh, and it's awesome. So uh, it does keep uh, fairly cool in here. If you have all the windows up and it's a hot day, this becomes an oven. So uh, cooling the trailer is a matter of opening and closing windows. It's kind of old school that way, <laughs> which I kind of enjoy. I get out to go camping to uh, get away from everything. So this is, I go back to my roots, I guess. <laughs> all right, next we're going to talk about how I heat the trailer when it gets cold. As far as heat, you can probably guess that I do use a Big Buddy heater. Uh, why mine is yellow, I've seen all the ones, other ones I've seen are red. Why yellow? I don't know. I, I've had it for uh, quite a few years, so don't know why it's yellow. <laughs> My trailer did come with a heater, uh, vintage of 2005, but that furnace uh, stopped working, and honestly, it was loud to begin with, so I... I kind of stopped using it. Uh, I prefer this one because it's very quiet and it more than will heat this trailer. Uh, and a special bonus, I run it off the propane tank that's on the front of the trailer. I, I, I rigged up a hose here and we'll cover that in a minute. But let's go over the, the big buddy and some of the safety that you got to be concerned about. Uh, if you have children or or Little ones, you do need to pay special attention to this area of the Big Buddy. It does get very hot. It just radiates heat out here, and the metal grate will get very hot. The top will get very hot. So keep that in mind. Uh, also, you got to concerned with some ventilation. Um, they are supposed to be safe, 100% safe. You can use them in a tent in an enclosed area, but uh, I do have uh, ventilation. Uh, this trailer is pretty old. There are a whole lot of gaps uh, and uh, places where air gets inside. So I've I got no problems with ventilation. I usually have uh, that window over there cracked a little bit, so uh, we can we can stay safe. From a heater, uh, my 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 hose here. I have a twenty pound tank on the front of the trailer, so I got a quick disconnect hose and I rigged it into under here where the propane goes into the stove. I honestly don't use the stove, so I, I use that connection. And if you're unfamiliar with a Big Buddy, 
disconnect in this left side, well, when you're facing it, on the left side, if you open it up, there's this connector here that uh, you put your green propane bottles in there. Behind that, there's a quick disconnect. So as long as you have a regulated propane hose for pressure, you can put your quick disconnect right in there. This is for uh, a high pressure. I wouldn't connect it directly to a 520 pound tank. Uh, use little one pound bottles. I didn't like the tw those one pound bottles because they're, they seem kind of wasteful to me. Uh, you know, use them once, throw it away. And, yeah. So I've got the refillable 20 pound tank. I use that. I have no, no issues with that there. So you probably notice this fan on the top. The big buddy here does have a built in fan. Uh, that stopped working for me. So I decided to get something uh, a little different. This is a little fan that you put on top of a, like a wood stove. Um, the heat hits the bottom of the fan, that generates electricity, spins the fan, and it blows, blows the, the warm air out into the room. Uh, now you're not gonna feel the breeze from this thing because it does not spin that fast, uh, but it does help to push the heat to other parts of the trailer, which is nice. Uh, I, have, I bought this one. Uh, it's rigged up uh, with these bolts and it just kind of hangs on the grate here. And there we go. Uh, to light it, you have this knob here. Uh, you do need to light the pilot light first. There's a little pilot light in there. So you turn it. Sometimes you're gonna do it a few times until the pilot light, hey, comes on. <laughs> Once the pilot light is on, then you can turn it to the temperature that you like. This one has three settings, low, medium, and high. Uh, I very rarely use the high setting because uh, it'll roast me inside of this trailer. So I'll either use medium or low. Uh, and I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that. Uh, this this one low and medium use this one panel on the left side. High uses the panel on the right side. So the right side hardly ever gets used. This is going to heat up. And in a little bit, once it gets warm enough, this fan's going to start spinning. And pushing the heat around a little bit. There you go. I can see the orange. And we'll see the fan spinning around. This more than heats up this trailer. Uh, I've got no problem. I could have gone with the regular Buddy heater. They do have a smaller version of this, the Buddy, that only has one panel, and that would have done me just great. But there have been some really cold mornings where I'm glad I had the option of going with the high heat because, yikes, <laughs> it does get cold in here. That's basically a tent on wheels, so keeping the heat inside of here is very difficult. So you have to keep this sucker on all the time. Uh, there's no temperature regulation so it, it won't get it to 75 degrees and then turn off it just uh, so you got to regulate it yourself in one of those three temperature ranges uh, if it does tip over it does have a sensor inside that will shut it off so you don't have to worry about that too much if someone knocks it over but the sucker is big and heavy enough so like it's not going to fall over on its own oh there we go now we got a little spinny on the fan as it goes uh, it's already starting to feel warm in here. Uh, it was already warm already. It's the middle of the day. But that is how I warm my trailer. And I'm very happy that I have it. Thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. If you could be so kind as to give me a like and subscribe to my channel so you can get more information on my future videos, that would be very nice of you. Thank you. It is plenty warm in here now. I need to turn my heater off. Uh, I will use it later today. So thank you again and happy camping, happy hiking and happy roaming.